So the first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is how to get ChatGPT to write you a resume. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna engage with the chat to have it write a resume for us based off some information that we give it. And what I've got right here is a general overview of what I've done and like who I am. So what we can do is we can start out by asking, uh, to, to learn what we need to tell the chat, we can ask the chat, hey, what do I need to give you in order for you to write me a resume? So let's ask it that first. Now, the time on this, it may take a couple of seconds, but usually this outputs really quickly. If it doesn't, up in the top left-hand corner, you can hit reset thread, or you can just refresh the page, and this should refresh for you. Great, so it's giving us some information, and what we can do is we can write this out just kind of like we're a human, can talking to another human and just say, hey, in general, you know, here's what I want you to do, right? So I made a, uh, a fake uh, explanation here. So I said, hey, for my resume, my name is Micah J, and my contact information is this, my LinkedIn profile is this, and I am open to relocate. I know all these things. I have this education background uh, from a fake university that I made up. Uh, I previously worked for a bunch of places. I just made this up to kind of uh, paint a template for you. So you can follow this exact template and I will put the templates down in the resources here for your class or in the description. You can go look for that. And right here we're writing out the timeline of when we worked. We could be more specific with that down to the month. And then um, down the line, uh, you know, with all this information, we, we just go put that in there. And then... Um, it's, it's going to spit everything out, right? So it's providing this, it's building this for us now. It's got a, a nice format there with a name. Uh, it's outputting this kind of as in a, in a code format. But when we copy this over, it's this copy code, but it's not necessarily code. But yeah, it's writing this out. It's giving us a format for our skills. It's nice and clean and professional, you know, top to bottom, you know, skills, um, experience, right? It's breaking out all of the positions one by one. Uh, it's got a little summary there, you know, for it and everything. So this is a really, uh, really good, effective way to get a, a resume generated. And all we did was we just told the chat, hey, here's kind of who I am and here's what I've done and here's sort of my education background. So um, I made up this thing that Elon Musk personally recognized me with the SpaceX Employee of the Year Award in 2015. And that's just kind of like uh, just a kind of add-on type of situation to... Um, like the job, I just said like, oh, I was at this job and I got this award and then chat GPT took it and made it this like really professional sounding thing in this um, this resume, right? And at the bottom throws out education um, and, and laid it all out. So this is basically as good as any resume that I've ever seen. But one of the things that I wanted to add to this was just like an about me um, statement at the top, uh, you know, say, Hey, can you provide a general about me statement that provides a message about, you know, that I am, you know, a driven professional and I'm constantly learning and evolving and, you know, all the things that employers want to hear, right? And so I'll say, hey, make this short and professional, put it at the top of the resume, right? So I'm saying like, um, hey, just take this information and just put this at the top of that resume. So it's going to go in and it's going to consider what I've asked it to do here. And we're looking at a load time right now that might be running up against where ChatGBT at this current time when I'm using it is actually um, not super responsive yet. It's under a lot of load. These are you know the early days of its use, and um, you know so if you see the load time going for a little bit longer than you think, it might be time to refresh. Usually it'll give you an error message, but um, here we go. Cool, so I've got like an about me statement for the resume, it just spit that out. And I could even tell it something like, hey, can you make this sound smarter or more interesting? Um, some, you know, a very broad statement, just like what I would communicate to a, a human. So I'll say like, can you make it, can you make me sound more interesting and use fancier words? Okay, then it's gonna come back with whatever version it thinks, right? So I'll also just give it a thumbs up and I'll just say that was awesome, right? All right, cool, now it's actually, it's going above and beyond to give me an updated version of my resume 
with the about me section in there and it's updating the words, right? So it's got the summary for people to read that's combining my skills with the about me statement. And wow, this it says a lifelong learner with a passion for applying data-driven insights to solve complex problems and drive innovation. Wow. Like when I said fancier words, it's exactly what I meant. And this just natively knows that. So we're getting some refinement here. This is all kind of auto-generated fake information about the role that I'll have to go tweak and make it uh, tailored to you know the real things that I actually did at that job. I would not encourage you to copy and paste what the AI generated because of course, if you didn't really do it, then you're basically lying. But what you can do is you can give it a statement and say, hey, for principal data scientist at Acme Inc., can you specify that I worked on this project and really helped this department? And then you put that in there and you know, you should you should start to get, you know, a return back where it will modify this resume continually in this same chat interface where it's providing um, this information out. So overall, that is how we can write a resume out in chat GPT. That's how that works. And uh, I hope that this was helpful. I will see you in the next video.